I get the best questions from, um, from viewers. David Ivers asked the other day, um, <clears throat> he said, what is the process uh, by which LDL is pulled out from between the media and intima layers of the artery wall? Um, a brief answer that I gave had to do with three different mechanisms. One was uh, inflammation, which is not a good way. Another is autophagy. Autophagy is helpful. It's very helpful more in cellular processes. And uh, what does autophagy mean? Again, break it down. Auto, phage, uh, phagy. Auto means self and phagy means eating. So it's your, your cell eating pieces of itself, trash that have uh, proteins, lipids, things that have been used in the past but are no longer necessary. That's actually a very good process, um, and it has to do very much with the obesity epidemic, and it has to do with fasting. If you never go through fasting stages and if you are continually eating, gaining weight, your cells never get to go through a healthy process called autophagy. Inflammation, as I mentioned uh, earlier, is uh, not a good way to get uh, to deal with plaque in your artery walls. It's where your immune system says that plaque shouldn't be there. That LDL should not be between the, um, the intima and the media layers of the artery wall. So I'll send in white cells, monocytes, leukocytes, and attack those. However, I've really uh, majored on the minors here. I've talked about the two ways that are really not important. There's one key way that's important for pulling um, LDL out of uh, artery walls, and we'll cover that in just a minute. Uh, but first, a brief introduction. Uh, my name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E uh, with PrevMed Heart Attack, Stroke, uh, Cancer, Disability Prevention. Um, <clears throat> we spend a lot of time helping uh, you understand how to prevent the major killers and disablers like heart attack, stroke, cancer, uh, dementia. And um, most of those are driven by this process, uh, uh, cardiovascular inflammation. Uh, inflammation, the number one driver is uh, insulin resistance, diabetes, um, carbohydrate metabolism problems. And if you're thinking, well, that's diabetes, I don't have to worry about that. Well. If you're an adult in the state of California, the UCLA says you've got a 50% chance, one in two chance that you have this. In other words, you're burning your arteries right now with insulin, inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation due to insulin resistance. And if you're age 60, it's much higher than that. What's interesting about this study is this is based only on fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1C. It doesn't deal with the uh, far more sensitive tests of oral glucose tolerance and um, or insulin uh, surveys. So actually the reality is it's far more than that. So <clears throat> if you haven't had those tests, if you haven't made sure that you don't have carbohydrate metabolism problems, I would ask you to consider again. Now, if you're not inflaming your arteries, but you still have plaque, what is the most common and the most important way of getting plaque out of those artery walls? David Ivers, again, thanks for asking. And John uh, Lorscheider, thanks for providing a great citation in this area. It's HDL. We've talked about that in the past uh, several times. And it actually brings up a good point for me to talk about the importance of HDL. What is HDL? What is LDL? And um, why are they important? And again, I haven't voiced it, but as you see, here's the, here's the, uh, the image. LDL will drop and deposit fat in the arteries. HDL is like an empty dump truck, an empty... Um, wheelbarrow taking that LDL back out of the artery so it can be um, metabolized. Now again I said what is HDL and LDL? 
Uh, the, the final L stands for lipoprotein. Um, so it's high density lipoprotein and low density lipoprotein. We'll talk about that. In other words, uh, when you go to the doc, most of us have heard this term. HDL is called the good cholesterol. LDL is called the bad cholesterol. HDL is actually, again, that empty wheelbarrow. What are lipoproteins? Let's go back and, and break that down for a second and clarify that. Lipo means um, fat or oil, and protein obviously means protein. So this is a protein made to transport fat and, or oil. Now, why am I holding this beat up old water bottle with water and olive oil in it uh, to demonstrate a very important point? Um, which most of us already know. Oil and water don't mix. But we eat oil. We have oil, uh, we have fat with hamburgers, uh, if you eat those. And if you're a very healthy person and you eat a lot of uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil like this is, even olive oil does not mix with blood because blood is over 95% water. Well, you know, there's a thing called fat embolus, and if you didn't have something in your body to break down these um, these big uh, to keep this oil from coalescing, you'd have what's called a fat embolus, and those do actually occur. They occur in car wrecks, major trauma where major bones bones are broken because our bone marrow has fat in them. When that fat is released into the bloodstream from trauma, it can cause a heart attack, stroke, massive injury, uh, again, because you've got this floating around in your blood. You're, when you digest it, you have the lipoproteins, uh, HDL, LDL, APOE, and what they do is they keep the, those fat particles in a tiny microscopic area so you don't get these large emboli, or embolus meaning um, a big blob that's going to cut off the blood supply. So <clears throat> what is the most important way of getting fat at, out of the area be between the, um, the intima and the media? It's HDL. This helps uh, actually underline the importance. If you go back to some very, very basic science, you understand something that is just, you know, difficult to understand it until after you've seen patient after patient after patient. And that is, HDL is far more protective than LDL is destructive. And let's go back. If, if you look at this, there's a way to uh, begin to understand that. And that's comparing, let's compare these two bars, for example. Before I do, this is from the Framingham Heart Study. Most people have heard of Framingham. It's, um, you see it in NHANES, you see it in a bunch of other studies. Um, so here is the risk associated with uh, heart attack and stroke, cardiovascular risk. And here is LDL, and this is HDL. Sorry about my graphics, they're almost always bad. But again, you can tell, you can see the point here. Someone with an HDL of 65 has a lower heart attack and stroke risk even if they have an LDL of 220 than another person with an LDL of 100 if their HDL is only 25. So let me repeat that so you get that again. HDL, 25, very low. LDL, 100. So the LDL is very low. This person's safe, right? That's what we always focus on, the LDL, the bad cholesterol. Look at the risk this person has. This person, on the other hand, has an LDL of 220. Um, but their risk is far lower. Why? Because their HDL is uh, 65. So the point being, again, HDL is incredibly important. It's far more protective than LDL is destructive. 
Uh, John, I didn't get to cover the um, your citation yet on uh, different types of HDL and HDL uh, metabolism. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that in a uh, in another video soon. Thanks for your interest.